Hello, my name is Jim Berthold, a Principal Solution Engineer with Flexera Software in the Software Monetization Division. In this video, I will be providing a demonstration of the software monetization products in Flexera Software's FlexNet Producer Suite. In this demonstration, we will reference a fictitious software and hardware vendor by the name of PhotoSharePub. PhotoSharePub uses products from Flexera Software to help them monetize their software and hardware products. PhotoSharePub has several products in their portfolio. First, they sell digital cameras with a wide variety of available functions. They manufacture only one physical camera model and use Flexera Software's FlexNet licensing to turn on the features purchased by their customers. Their customers can easily purchase and activate additional camera features at any time. PhotoSharePub also provides a hosted SaaS application where customers can upload, store, and print their photographs. Pictures can easily be uploaded directly from the camera or through a client-side application. So let's talk about what you'll see in today's demonstration. The process starts with the purchase of the camera by the customer. PhotoSharePub then creates an entitlement in the back office for the purchased features. The customer is notified of their purchase and is given access to a PhotoSharePub branded portal where they can view their entitlements, manage their camera licenses, and download software. Once the customer has downloaded and installed their software, they will then turn on or activate their purchased features on the camera. They can do this either directly from the camera or through the client application. We'll then show the ability for PhotoSharePub to send direct messages and provide software and firmware updates directly to the client application. The application will periodically phone home to the back office system to see if there are updates available and will get access to them only if they are entitled to receive them. The final action you'll see is an example of a usage-based entitlement. In this case, the customer has purchased a plan from PhotoSharePub to store up to 2 gigabytes of photos and print up to 500 pictures per month. The usage information will be collected, fed back to PhotoSharePub, and made available to the customer in the customer portal. The selected model in the demonstration will allow the customer to use more than what they've purchased. This is similar to what you most likely seen with a smartphone plan where you prepay for voice minutes and data and get billed for any overages at the end of the month. The products that enable this functionality make up the FlexNet producer suite and are comprised of FlexNet operations, FlexNet licensing, and FlexNet Connect. Now let's see this process in action. Here is an example of an order notification email triggered from FlexNet Operations that a customer receives following their camera purchase. It contains the details of what they purchased, which in this case is the PhotoShare Pub client application with the direct camera upload feature. Note this has an associated activation ID that will be used to enable this feature on their camera. Here we also see the usage-based entitlement, which entitles the customer to 2 gigabytes of storage and 500 picture prints per month. As mentioned previously, the user is allowed to exceed these limits and will be billed accordingly for any overages. A link is provided for the customer to access the client software. Let's take the role of the end user and click on that link. On the end user portal login page provided by FlexNet Operation, customer enters their email address and password. After logging in, they are presented with a product information page where they select their desired software version. In this case, I'll select the latest version, version 2.0. Prior to landing on this download page, an export compliance check was automatically performed by FlexNet Operations. This validates the user against the denied parties list, embargoed countries, and the export classification of the selected product. After passing this check, the user simply clicks the link to download the software. The PhotoShare Pub software is now downloaded to my local machine. I can now extract and run my application. The 
Photo Share Pub client application is now installed. Welcome to version 2.0. The application is automatically synchronized with my Photo Share Pub camera. Without obtaining a license, I'm able to view the pictures on my camera. However, if I try to upload the photos to the Photo Share Pub cloud service, I am unable to do so as I do not have a license. I have purchased the feature and I am entitled to do so, however I have not yet activated this capability. I'm going to bring up an activation utility to activate my purchased features. Here is the same activation ID that was provided in my order notification email and was also displayed in the end customer portal. I'll now activate. And now I have a license for the photo upload feature. In this case, we're demonstrating a subscription license where the user is allowed to access this feature until a specified date. If I wish to continue to use the purchase feature after this date, I will need to renew my subscription before it expires. Now that I have activated and have a valid license, I will now see that the photo upload feature is indeed available. Although the activation process was quite simple and quick, there was a lot happening behind the scenes. The specified activation ID, along with the camera ID, was securely sent to the FlexNet Operations back office system using FlexNet licensing. This activation request was then verified against the customer entitlement. A license containing the features for that entitlement was then generated and securely returned and installed. The next step in the process was the ability for PhotoShare Pub to deliver messages and software or firmware updates directly to the client application. Using FlexNet Connect, the application can periodically pull the back office to see if there are any updates available. Here you can see the pop-up in the system tray indicating that there are notifications available. The message indicates that version 2.1 is now available. The Learn More link provides further details. I see the features available in version 2.1. Critical security update advanced photo editing capabilities, and synchronization across multiple devices. I'll go back to the update. Now the reason why I see this update is that I am entitled to receive it. Typically when you purchase software there is an associated maintenance contract which allows you to receive free updates, patches, etc. throughout the maintenance period. The entitlement can also be associated with a camera serial number. Only valid camera serial numbers associated with an active entitlement are allowed to get updates. To demonstrate what would happen if my camera serial number did not match my entitlement, I will change the camera serial number on my entitlement in the FlexNet Operations back office system. My camera serial number is SN-PSP456. What I'm going to do is change that to PSP457 in my entitlement and save that. After making this change, you see the update is no longer available. The message is there indicating that version 2.1 is available to entitled customers, as well as where to go to renew my maintenance if it is not currently available to download. To continue on, I'll edit the entitlement to indicate my valid camera serial number. After checking for the updates, you see the update is back and available. I'll now proceed with my installation of the update. I will click Install. That is now successful. And I'll start up my application. And now I see the message that I am running version 2.1. As you may recall, this customer also purchased a plan which consisted of 2 gigabytes of photo storage along with 500 prints per month. As the customer is taking pictures, uploading them to PhotoShare Pub and printing them, this usage data is being sent to FlexNet Operations and is continuously reconciled with the entitled quantities. 
The customers can view their usage real time to view both the current as well as the previous usage. Here I will bring up the customer facing portal to look at this usage data. If I click on usage report, here I can see the current status of the photo storage and number of pictures printed. Uh, the red is indicating I'm in an overage situation on the photo storage. Here I am using 2515 out of my 2000 megabytes available and the number of printed pictures I am using 221 out of the 500 that I'm entitled to for this month. I can go back to previous billing periods to see my usage uh, previous months. Let's take a look at February. I was uh, approaching the entitled quantity in February and I was still over on my photo storage. Go back a couple more months. Here you can see I was about half on my storage in this month and I was uh, 467 out of 500 prints in December. If I want to see some historic usage, I can view these in a timeline format. Here is my photo storage. You can see the usage over the past several months and where I, I crossed over my entitled quantity. And I can also view the number of pictures printed per month. Here you can see I've n I haven't uh, gone over my entitled quantity uh, in the past several months. If I want to get the actual data that is available as well, I can click on the download button. And I can see the details of the usage for that given time period. Here we can see the timestamp as well as the number of pictures printed and who printed those pictures. This concludes today's brief demonstration of the products in the FlexNet producer suite. Please contact Flexera Software with any questions regarding our software monetization solutions. Thank you.